Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create a check-in, check-out system using Google Forms. So we have our sample form here, and we'll just call it Stuff You're Borrowing From Me. And we're going to make our first question here, your name, and of course we'll make that short answer. And you may want to ask students for their email addresses or other contact information so that you can track down your stuff if it doesn't get returned. Uh, so that might say your email address. Now if you're using this in Google Apps for Education, you could automatically collect usernames as well by choosing that option up here under your settings. All right, so we'll make this one short answer. All right, now we're going to use an add-on called Check It Out to set up the rest of this form. So I have the add-on already installed up here. It's called Check It Out. If you don't have it installed, you can get it by going up here in the upper right-hand corner and selecting Add-ons and doing a search for it and then adding it in. So let's go ahead now and use Check It Out. And we're going to add edit our question set and here we're going to add a new question right? and we can use a variety of question types I like the multiple choice option myself and we'll add that in now our default text here is all items are checked out when everything is checked out and all items are checked in when everything is checked in you can change that if you want to but I don't see any reason to modify that so let's add that in all right, so now we have a new question here, or a new, uh, yeah, new question, and we can change the name of the checkout item. We can say, you know, book title. Maybe I'm going to lend some books from my personal collection in my classroom, and we'll say, into thin air, into the wild, into outer space. And you can add as many items as you like into that section. Now, if you want to break this up where you did a section for adventure books in your classroom and a section for uh, easy reading books or whatever, whatever genre you want to use, you could certainly put in multiple sections in this form. Uh, but for the sake of brevity here, we'll do just these three. All right, so we now have our form set up and let's see how it would look to the student. We'll click on the preview and the student comes in here and fills this out. And that student's going to borrow into thin air. And now they submit that response. And another student might come along now that student will see this and and she sees that okay the items that are missing uh, are into thin air that one's already checked out so she can't check it out uh, but maybe she's gonna borrow into the wild from me and she submits it now here as the teacher we'll go into my responses and I can see quickly that uh, Bob has borrowed some books from me. I can go into my spreadsheet. And the spreadsheet will make it easier for me to see which items Bob has borrowed. Now, let's say Bob returns the book. He just goes back here. And he's returning the book to me. And of course, my spreadsheet will now be updated to reflect that. So that's how you can create a simple check-in, check-out system using Google Forms and the add-on called Check It Out. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.